Hey guys, I hope you're having a great day. Welcome to my very first tutorial on Microsoft Excel. So as you can see in front of you, I have opened Google Chrome and I've searched Excel online. So I'll be telling you what Excel online is in a few minutes. So first of all, let's just log in and see what Excel online is. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to have a Microsoft account. I already have one so I'll log in. If you don't have one, you can easily sign up for one. All right, and uh, my password is already saved. So I'll just sign in right now and boom. So this is the basic uh, home screen for Excel Online. So I'll just uh, give a quick uh, brief review of what Excel Online is. So as you already know, most of you must be having Microsoft Excel 2010, 2013, 2016, or any other new latest versions of it. But these are the PC versions. And as you know, these are paid versions. They are not free. You have some trial period for them, but they are not free. Whereas Excel Online is a completely free version. All you need to do is just have a Microsoft account. Um, of course, there are some downsides to it. Uh, you don't have all the features that you have in Microsoft Excel PC version, but it's enough for uh, our, our basic uh, tutorial videos and to get an introduction to Excel. So uh, without wasting much time, let me start with the tutorial. Uh, as you can see, there are a lot of options here, like workout log, um, timesheet, 12 month calendar. These are a lot of options here. Uh, we don't have to worry about them right now, but these are various options that Excel provides you to store your data in. Uh, right now, we are just going to focus on new blank workbook. Uh, uh, this is going to be a basic tutorial, the first part. So for this, we'll be using a new blank workbook and I'll just introduce you to Excel. So without any further ado, let's click on this and Let's wait a little and boom, there you have it. So this is the basic worksheet of Excel, Microsoft Excel. So this is exactly how it looks uh, in your PC version as well. Uh, the only difference is there are a little less options. Uh, you'll know it as I blow more uh, tutorial videos, I'll be telling you more about it, okay? So uh, so the first thing that you see is there are uh, you know a lot of rows, and a lot of columns and each one is labeled each column is labeled a b c d and each row is labeled with numbers and uh, this thing uh, it just keeps going on you can store as much data as uh, as you want to it's just almost you can consider this to be infinite infinite all right there is a limit but uh, you won't reach that so you shouldn't have to worry about that uh, all right so uh, the first uh, uh, thing that you see here is uh, there is uh, there are many options like file, home, insert, data review. There are so many options. I know it is very, very intimidating for you right now if you've never used Excel before, but you don't have to worry about it. I will be breaking down each and everything in the subsequent videos. For now, let's just see an overview. Uh, so basically, uh, file, home, insert, data, these things are called tabs and the options that you see on them, this thing right here is called a ribbon, all right? So there is a ribbon for each tab. So this is the ribbon for the home tab. This is the ribbon for the insert one. This is the ribbon for the data and so on, all right? So uh, now that we got a basic overview, there's one more thing, of course, yeah. I just forgot about that. Uh, if you just look at this thing here, uh, there's an add button in which says this new sheet. If you just click it, you get a new sheet. So you can uh, create multiple sheets and work on it. It's almost uh, like the tabs that you have in, in Google Chrome, uh, Mozilla, Firefox, etc. cetera. Uh, these are just uh, uh, different sheets you can work on and then you can later on merge it if you want. You can do a lot of things with it. So for now, let's just delete this. Uh, you just have to right click and click delete all right so uh yeah one more thing that i would like to tell you is that each cell here this thing is called a cell okay so each cell here has a has a address uh, the address is these things that are highlighted here 
So for example, the cell which I'm showing you right now has an address of E6. You can even see the address from this place right here. Uh, the name box, if you see, it shows E6. And as soon as you click other cells, the address keeps changing here. You can just see that S11, L16, and so on. All right. All right, so now that we've got a basic overview of uh, the interface, uh, let's start doing something. You know, I know it's getting boring for you guys, so let's start doing something. Uh, so I'll start with putting in some data here. Um, so what should I do right now? Let's see. So the first thing you need to do is select a cell and double click it. All right, so uh, let's have a little fun exercise here. So uh, just assume that I'm uh, I'm a Pokemon trainer. Uh, of course, I'm not, but just assume that I'm a Pokemon trainer. So I'll just make a small list of uh, the the Pokemon that I have and uh, how many of them have I caught. So let's see. So that Pokemon. Now all you have to do is press Enter, and it's saved in that cell and moves on to the next cell. All right. So now in the next cell, I can type whatever I want. So let's type some Pokemon. Uh, let's see, Pikachu. Uh, all right, uh, what else? Staryu. Um, Geodude. Uh, I got the spelling right. Uh, what else, man? Gosh, <laughs> I just can't believe I don't uh, recall any Pokemons right now. Uh, let's see, Onyx. Uh, yeah, I think that's that's fine. All right, so Now the next thing that we can do is uh, I can add another list where I can add the number of Pokemons that I have Caught like the number of Pikachu's that I have the number of star use that I have. So let's just name this number of uh, Sorry number of Pokemon owned All right, but there is a problem here uh if you look at this, uh, if you just press enter here, uh, I'll just, uh, I'm sorry guys, I'll just have to zoom this a little bit. Probably you're not able to see it clearly. Yeah, there we go. All right. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, great. I don't know why I just did right now. Anyway, so, if you just look at this, it's uh, actually crossing the columns here. So there's a problem because the num the column length is actually smaller than the, the text that we typed. So how do we handle this issue? No problem, Excel has an easy solution to this. All you need to do is take your mouse, keep it in between B and C and double click it. And wow, pretty freaking awesome. If you look at this right now, it has automatically increased the length of the column as per your text. So there are two things that you can do here. One is double clicking, which is uh, the best way and which is what I use normally, but you can also hold this and stretch it out and increase the column size uh, if you desire it, or you can even reduce it, but I like to just keep it double clicked. It automatically adjusts it and it's a pretty freaking good uh, feature in Microsoft Excel. All right, so let's see, how many Pikachus do I have? All right, so Pikachu is uh, uh, a Pokemon that I really like, so let's say I have 40 Pikachus. Staryu, maybe 10. Geodude, nah, I don't like it. Zero. Onyx, mm, yeah, I think I have three, who knows. All right, so now that we have our data present, uh, it doesn't really look like a proper table. You know why? Because the columns here, are not uh, clear enough to be like a column. Like there are other values here, but the column needs to be highlighted. So um, what we can do here is we can bold these things and boom, uh, it looks pretty better now, but still not like as much of a table, but yeah, I think it's, it's looking pretty good. Uh, there is another uh, way you can actually create a proper table. I'll be just telling you in a few minutes. First of all, I'll be telling you how to visualize this. There's a very, very cool feature. Uh, we'll be talking about this a lot in the next tutorials, but I just wanted to give it a brief overview. So all you have to do is press shift and press your arrow keys and you can just select uh, the, the whole table that you have. You just have to hold shift 
and use your arrow keys all right um, so now we can just go to bar chart and click one of them and wow look at this it basically has given me a bar chart where i can clearly see the number of pokemon that i have like i have 40 pikachus 10 star use and three onyx no geodudes it's a very good representation you have many other things here if you can look at that and if you're using a pc version you have a lot more options than this so for now i just wanted to show you so i'll delete this and just before ending this video one last thing how do you create a proper table out of this again hold shift select the whole table and go to insert and click table okay and there you go you have a very good looking table right here again if you're using a pc version you have many more options to customize the design of your table uh, excel online just provides you with one it doesn't matter just for the tutorial you know how to create a table right now so i hope you enjoyed my first tutorial on excel this was just a basic overview i'll be focusing on many more features in the further videos um, so just like and subscribe please that would be of great help that would motivate me to make more videos and uh, i'll just uh, see you in the next video goodbye